Hello, this is David White from Sportsman's Emporium, and I'm going to talk a little bit about um, adjusting the poundage of your bow. This is something that uh, a lot of people ask about. A lot of people bring their bows in for us to adjust their poundage, and it's a little easier than what you might think. And it's very easy if you get off track, it's a very easy thing to fix. Um, the main important thing when you're adjusting your poundage basically where these limb bolts are by tightening them down or backing them out is how you adjust the poundage. Tightening them down increases the poundage while backing them out lowers the poundage. And the only really important thing about adjusting your poundage is that you do even amount of turns on both limbs. And that's really easy to do. And, and the thing about it is if you get a little messed up, you can always crank it all the way down to where it stops and start over. And it's a very easy thing to do. And I'm just gonna go over it a little bit with you. As you can see, this bow is already backed out a good bit in poundage. And so it's, it's pulling a, little, a lot lighter draw weight than what it goes to. And let's just say I would want to tighten it. So it's basically, you know, the same as any bolt or screw, screw righty tighty, lefty loosey. And that's gonna be the, the theme for that. So what I'm gonna do, as you can see, when I put my Allen wrench in here, it basically goes straight down. So what I wanna do to do a full turn is, is stop it right where it's at. I can see that it's almost perfectly straight, but just a little bit canted off to the side. So if I want to tighten my bow down and, you know, let's say I want to add six to eight pounds, I'm going to, and every bow is a little different with every, limb, every set of limbs, a full turn could mean two pounds on one bow or even up to five pounds on certain bows. But what I'm going to do is just give this a full turn on this limb and I'm going to twist this all the way around and bring it almost down to straight and then give it that little bit of, of cant. It's not going to matter. You don't have to be exactly micro precise, just really close. So I gave this limb one full turn. So what I want to do is flip this over and give the other limb a full turn. Once again, I'm going to look down at this one. Goes almost straight down the, the limbs, but has a little bit of left cant. So I'm going to stop it there. I'm going to give it one full turn, righty tighty, and I'm going to stop just off to the left of straight. And that would crank this bow up probably about three pounds for each turn roughly. And um, so when you're looking to, if you're shooting your bow and you've built your muscles up a little bit, um, and you're looking to increase your poundage, you just want to tighten it towards the right. You'll go clockwise. Um, and you can do a half a turn, you can do a quarter turn, or you can do a full turn. And the, the main thing is you want to keep them the same on each side. And like I say, if you get confused or messed up, you can always crank it all the way down as tight as it'll go and get them both even again, and then back them out one turn at a time on each side until you get the desired weight that you're pulling. It does take a special scale to figure out exactly how many pounds you are pulling. Um, that's something you could always bring to any bow shop, can scale it for you, or you could buy a scale. But in general, if you're just going by how it feels, if you're shooting a lot at your house and, and you're getting really comfortable with your draw weight and you think you could go up a little bit, that's how you do it. Just make sure you get even turns. Thanks.